time for a Mancer's sex experiment. Severe drought caused by global warming threatens the very existence of life on Earth. So as a public service, Mancer's is going green. This experiment could actually save the world. It's time to go on an ecological journey with the help of the Mancer Girls. What is the least amount of water a dirty girl needs to get clean? To help figure out this mystery, we asked a scientist. Water is a precious resource because every human being on the planet requires water to live. We need to conserve water to save the planet, so Mansers is going green by answering the most important ecological question ever. What is the least amount of water a dirty girl needs to get clean? Our hotties will clean up in the three most common ways, and our scientists will use a corneometer to determine when each mama is completely hydrated. A reading of 50 means she's as wet as she can get. Afterwards, we'll add up how much water she used to scrub all her nooks and crannies. First up, Daisy. She's gonna slip into a bubble bath and clean her bodacious body. Bathtubs have been grooming greasy gals since 3300 BC, when the ancient Indus Valley civilization utilized copper piping. Okay, Daisy has scrubbed and rubbed, but is she completely wet? Let's go to the corneometer. Our scientist determines that she is at full epidermal hydration, but how much water did she use? To fill the bath, it took a whopping 25 jugs, we mean gallons of water. Let's see if Chloe can use less than that in a steamy shower. Chloe is underneath a state-of-the-art, low-flow, high-efficiency shower, which pumps out water at 1.6 gallons per minute and reduces water consumption by 36%. Chloe's all wet, and the shower sprayed out 20 gallons of water. That's better than the tub. But let's see if Brittany's sponge bath can beat it. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, three babes in a tub. They're using a highly absorbent artificial sponge, which is made of cellulose wood fibers and foam plastic polymers. It can absorb up to 30 times its weight in water. Our scientist signals that the sponge made Brittany completely wet. So how much water was used? The awesome artificial sponge bath squirted out. Less than a gallon of water! By far the least amount of water used by our Mancer girls! But wait, could there be a way to clean up without using any H2O? Yes, it's... Olive oil! That's right. According to the Royal British Museum, ancient Romans used olive oil to cleanse themselves after exercise. They pour it on to collect the dirt. Then they use a cleaning blade known as a strigil to scrape the oil off. There's nothing extra virgin about that. What is the least amount of water a dirty girl needs to get clean? None. To conserve water when your chesty chick reeks, use olive oil to clean between the cheeks. We've got the goods they didn't teach you in school. So come back for more.